I'm Eloise and this is my channel and welcome to the wonderful week of Halloween. I am going to be showing you five Halloween makeup tutorials this week that are super super easy to recreate. I'm the kind of girl as a look what she's got in a makeup collection and tries to come up with something. I'm not incredible at Halloween makeup by all means but I have got a dab hand at the old dramatic smoky eye. So hopefully the next five videos are gonna be all right. So this makeup look, it's hard to believe that it took me three hours, but it absolutely did. I really, really got my creative juices flowing today. It's not very often that I sit down and just play with makeup for the fun of it. And that's exactly what I did today. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this fierce lioness makeup look, then make sure you keep on watching. But before you do, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe and all that jazz. Let's crack on! Okay, so I've already done this eye, well, the side off camera. Um, I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. I mean, you can definitely see a little bit of texture from my terrible brow blocking, but anyway, we're gonna do the same on the other side. I'm sorry if you can hear a dog snoring. Um, Gracie is in here with me. She cannot bear to be alone. So I've got her with me today and also, the crazy wind swept hair is back. So let's get cracking because I feel like, I mean, I don't feel like I have been. I did this side. I'm actually quite embarrassed to tell you how long it's taken me. Two hours. But anyway, I was just sort of playing around, seeing what was working, what wasn't. So now I'm fully equipped. I know exactly what I'm doing. So um, let's crack on. So to start off with, I primed my eyes with something different today. The P. Louise base. I bought this um, the other day. I got the shade three and it's definitely a little bit too dark so I'm gonna get a shade two as well. Um, but I really like it. It's, um, it's a good primer. Um, so I just applied this with a dry sponge which is how Stacey Marie recommends to use it. Hopefully this tutorial isn't too long as well. I'm probably gonna speed through quite a lot of it because otherwise we'll be here forever. And hopefully I am in focus as well. If you wanna know how to brow block, don't come to me because I'm absolutely horrendous. Try to do as many layers as glue and powder as possible and uh, hope for the best. So now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. You know, you guys know I didn't like this concealer for underneath the eyes, but for something like this, where I need to take the um, color out of my brows, it's perfect for, because it's super, super full. And um, yeah, it does the trick. I'm taking that past the brow as well, because as you can see, we're going quite high up into the temple and well, more hairline really. <laughs> So for today's video, I'm just gonna be using one palette and that is the Morphe 9D palette. My very, very, very good friend Laura bought this for me as a leave-in present to my job. So yeah, I've got this one and she also bought me, which is very naughty of her, um, the 9J, which is just a crush palette. How gorgeous is that? So we're gonna use these beautiful warm tones today. I'm mainly gonna be using these three colors and then we're gonna mix it up with a little bit of glitter as well. I've also got a black from another Morphe palette because the blacks from Morphe palettes are brilliant. So those are the main shades I'm gonna be using today. So starting off with a Zoeva 227, I'm gonna take this orangey shade right here and all I did was just placed this color down in a really harsh angle up towards the brow. I'm gonna have to remember how I did this because I did it so long ago, literally like two hours ago. <laughs> so I'm going in with this shade right here with a Zoeva 227. I'm just hooking that back into the crease. Yeah, that looks about right, doesn't it? And I'm blending as best as I can on top of this terrible brow block. It's not gonna be completely 100% amazingly blended. It doesn't matter too much because this is more creative makeup rather than super wearable. <laughs> okay, now that we've got that sort of shape laid down, we're gonna start to blend out those edges. So I'm gonna take this Molly O'Brien MO5 brush and I'm gonna take the yellow and I'm just gonna add some warmth into that edge and I'm pulling that right up 
into the hairline. And I'm mixing that yellow and that orange together now, just to add a little bit more drama. Just keep on looking back to see if we're going in the same angle. And I brought it quite far in because I hooked it into the nose contour, if you can see. Going back into that 227, I'm gonna take that brick red again and just deepen up that crease once more because obviously you lose it when you blend it out a little bit. Who is excited for Halloween? I never do anything for Halloween. I just like to sit down and film these looks for you guys because I think if I was going out for Halloween, I'd definitely need a video to copy. So hopefully if some of you guys are stumped of what to go as, get a beige top like I have, back comb your hair crazily wide, and uh, chuck some lion makeup on and you're a lion. I think this is one of the easiest kind of outfits to go as on Halloween. If you've already got ideas, what are you gonna go as? Let me know. Okay, now I'm going in with a Japonesque um, 725 brush and I'm taking this dark brown. These shadows are so, so good. And I love these palettes already because they're so much smaller, so you can take them wherever you want without having to lug a big old palette around. And it's got a massive mirror as well. So it's such a good buy, Laura. Thank you very, very much. These are some of the best mattes I've used from Morphe for sure. Super, super pigmented and blendable. So I'm just deepening up. And this is sort of structuring my shape now. So you can be a little bit more harsh with that colour. Because we can see here, I've got that depth going all the way up there. I'm gonna go all the way in. As you can see, there's a little bit of depth there where I've put that glitter and it sort of frames the glitter as well. So all I'm gonna be doing now is going back in with the previous brushes, keep on deepening up, blending out, etc., etc. So I'll probably just speed through this bit and then we'll get to this sort of dramaticness and then we can add our wing. Okay, so now I'm happy with the blend. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Original. This is the best one for applying glitter. So I am gonna take the one of the Naked Palette brushes. This is actually the Naked Honey Palette brush and I'm gonna load my brush up with the primer and I'm just gonna pop that over the lid and slightly higher than I would usually go so that it gives the illusion of bigger eyeballs. And you can see where I've placed that, I've almost slightly brought that into that darker shade as well. Okay, and now I'm gonna take two peaches and cream pigments, the Famous and Gatsby pigment. You can see Famous is a little bit more copper which is the one that's on the outer corner on that one. And then Gatsby is everyone's cult favorite. It's the more silvery gold on that inner corner. So I'm gonna take Famous first, and these pigments are to die for. I'm just gonna flip my brush, so that's the wet side. We're gonna flip it onto the dry side. I'm gonna take the pigment from the lid so that I don't put too much on. And I'm gonna start on that outer corner. Just look at that, isn't that stunning? I hope the camera picks that up. Um, it's just so, so beautiful. And especially with having a tacky base, it just makes it even more sparkly. And I'm gonna pop that in sort of like a diagonal so that we can slot Gatsby just in there. Whoa, so bright, isn't that beautiful? I've just been having a little dive into my makeup kit because so I'm really sorting it out now that I'm leaving my makeup retail job and going fully freelance with a salon in my hometown. So I've been looking at all my makeup and thinking, oh my God, I just wanna play with it all. So yeah, how beautiful and sparkly. Oh, okay. So now for the winged liner. So I'm gonna be taking my Perversion pen, which is my favorite liquid liner, and I'm just gonna take the mirror that is in the palette because it is enormous, and I'm just gonna line the lashes to start with, and then we can do the wing. And I'm doing it a little bit thicker than I usually would. And now I'm gonna do the wing in the direction of where we have done the eyeshadow. And the wing doesn't have to be too, too neat because we are gonna smudge it out with black eyeshadow, as you can see there. I'm just gonna hook that back in. Trust me, wings are not the easiest for me, especially on this side because I've got a little scar. Um, but practiced makes perfect. 
and that is definitely not the best wing I've ever done but I'm really not fussed because I'm going to be going over with eyeshadow anyway. I'm going to take this detailed brush and I'm going to take a black from a Morphe palette and I'm just going to go over the top of my wing. Okay so now I'm going back in with the dark brown with my Japanese brush and I'm going to go over the top make sure everything's nice and blended together we don't really want to see any harsh lines and then I'm going to go back in with my previous brushes just to make sure everything's nice and seamless I'm just going to go back in with that glitter just because you can see it's really harsh just start stop there so I'm just going to bring the glitter just a little bit further out so what I'm going to do now is pop my mascara and lashes on and then we can do the under eyes. I want this to be as quick as possible this video, I don't want to be um, boring you guys too much, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have applied my lashes and I've put uh, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Zero in my waterline and I've also primed underneath my eyes as well with the P. Louise base. So let's start with this um, Naked Honey palette brush and I'm going to take that dark brown from the Morphe palette um, and I'm going to start by running that really close in between all my lashes and linking that up to the top. Okay, then I'm going to take off some of that excess and go in with the, or with the orange, if you can see, and I'm just going to lay that right over the top but slightly more underneath and then I'm going to take that Molly O'Brien brush again and the yellow and just smooth under there just blend everything out now for the tricky bit so I took the Makeup Revolution what's this called I think it's a Renaissance pen or something and now I'm going to do my inner corner flick this uh, this tip is much better than the perversion pen I feel like the perversion pen one gets a bit flimsy on the end it doesn't collect as much ink so hopefully this doesn't go out of focus but I'm basically just, just going to follow the line of my top waterline Hopefully, I'm sorry if this is out of focus, but. And now I'm gonna take my Urban um, Decay Razor Sharp in the shade Bump, which is the best white eyeliner ever. Better than the next one. The next one cracks like crazy. I'm just gonna fill in that little gap. And now let's do the skin. So yeah, that is basically the eyes done. I love the angle that that goes. Um, up into my hairline so yeah let's do the skin so now you can see a better idea of the hair the hair is pretty crazy but I kind of love it um, so what I started off with was I started off with my really really warm um, contour stick it's not a contour stick it's a foundation stick by L'Oreal it's the infallible stick foundation in the shade 210 I love this stick it is so so creamy and I'm just using my so eco tool what's it called no so eco stippling brush which you know is my favorite foundation brush and I'm just using that to buff this in ever so slightly not all the way in I'm gonna go over the top with some foundation in a minute just making sure that I look super super warm and lion-like. Now for concealer underneath the eyes. So I'm actually going in with the L'Oreal one again because it's super super full coverage and I really want that highlighted look today. As you guys know I never do these big triangles underneath my eyes but since it's Halloween and it's a very glam lion we're going all out with the highlight contour today. And while that starts to cook away, we're gonna take a little blob, I'm running so low on my favorite foundation, on the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear Foundation, just to fill in the gaps. Oh boy, we haven't put any product. I keep getting a really itchy nose. So we want that concealer to almost set by the time we blend out. Just going over the top of that cream bronze. So it looks a little bit more natural. And now I'm just going over the top 
of that highlight with my foundation brush just to start to blend the edge. I'm gonna take my sponge now. This is a, what is this? A Nanchi, Nanchi sponge. I got these from TK Maxx. They were, how much for you? $2.99 and it's one of the best sponges I think I've ever used in my life. So good. It's super, super soft and I just love it. So let's start to take away the excess of that product. And then I'm gonna use the a tiny little blending brush just to smudge the under eye shadow and the concealer together. This is a little trick I got from the Gord George Masterclass. It was so, so good. I'm so hoping my builder doesn't come upstairs right now because I look crazy. So now we're ready to blend these two together because they're almost slightly set. So I'm gonna take my Morphe R39 and just go backwards and forwards in sort of tapping motions just to start to merge those two together. So before that creases, I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes with a pressed powder. Set my lip as well, so that that black doesn't transfer again. Okay, now let's get into the bronzing section. So I'm gonna take a new product that I bought, which, if I can find it. It is a matte, Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the shade Dark Deepest. I bought this for my kit, but I'm just gonna use it on me quickly because it's a really dark bronze color. And I thought it would be perfect for this look. Okay, and for highlighter, I'm gonna take the MAC Soft and Gentle. I love this highlighter. I'm just popping that right on that pop the cheekbone can you see it's so gorgeous a little bit above the brow speaking of brows let's kick those off so can you tell I'm getting a bit tired of this makeup now <laughs> okay so what did I use I am gonna go for a Maybelline lasting drama uh, gel liner not in the shade black where's the brown one I had and I bought this little silicone eyeliner brush. Can you see? It's not even a brush, it's meant silicone. It's from e.l.f. from TK Maxx. And I bought it and I quite enjoy it. It's rather difficult though to um, draw on top of this glue. But I'm just going to... I did keep a bit of my brow free. Just so it looked a little bit more natural. Just putting some subversion through it so they stand up. And let's get on with these brows, shall we? So I just did like hair strokes flicking upwards and sort of following the shape of the eyeshadow. And then I added some highlights with some white concealer. Hopefully it looks kind of similar to the other eyebrow, but I mean, I'm a lion. So they definitely don't care about eyebrows being the same. Okay, right, now let's add some of that white concealer, just to give a little bit of definition. And then I'm gonna use that same white concealer, this is the Stay Naked one by Urban Decay, to do the mouth bit as well. So I'm using the same brush, and I'm just gonna flick through. Yes, that's what we want. I've just posted a little sneak peek of the makeup and people are bloody loving it. I'm so pleased. I'm glad because it's taken me bloody three hours to do. Okay, for the mouth, same concealer and a big fluffy brush and I'm just dipping into that. I'm just going a bit crazy with it really. Just being quite artsy with it. Now for some little black dots for whiskers. I'm not gonna add whiskers because I think I would ruin it. I'm just going to my makeup revolution pen again and now I'm going to take zero the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil again to do the lips. I've ever so slightly overdrawn them. I'm just going to do it again because um, it's sort of worn off since I last did it. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and do a second coat because it's sort of gone a bit grey where I put a white there. Sorry I'm talking like this, don't want to transfer on the bottom again. <laughs> <laughs> While it dries I'm going to do the nose. How 
have I done everything I've wanted to do? I think so. I think this is done, guys. Yeah, I think I've done everything that I wanted. I mean, it's taken me three hours. Like, I've done the hair. I mean, the nose isn't the best, but what can you do? I'm absolutely sweating now, so I feel like I need to end it here. <laughs> Yeah, I hope this video was useful and if you're going as a lion, let me know and let me know if you recreate this look. I would love to see your guys' looks. Tag me on Instagram if you do recreate it, that would be amazing. But yeah, I'm actually really impressed with what I've come up with. Um, I mean, it's nothing crazy out there, like I'm, I'm definitely not one of those Instagrammers who is unreal at Halloween makeup. It's just not me. I'm all about having the makeup in my drawer and seeing what I can come up with. That's pretty much me. So I'm sure you'll be seeing much, much more from me this Halloween. I have five videos going up this week, including this one. So watch out, I am gonna be about. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from, it just came out of my mouth. <laughs> so anyway you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe and all that jazz. I'm Eloise, this is my channel and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.